purposely on mathematics equations and solving problems for pediatric medicine. I hear a story about these exuberant and excited neuroscientists who are watching behavior, observing what humans do with their bodies, making decisions with their brains and neurons and synapses connecting to their arms and legs in empty stadiums, empty fields where soccer players normally run, score, kick and pass with fans cheering in a crowd now. They excitedly and repeatedly explained on NPR News about what they were doing to see the differences in these humans. Information they were providing them to learn about for their system and processes called science. In other words, humans who are aware there's other humans and have heard a word called freedom in the past. Are watching and observing players who are unknowingly evaluated as information while at the same moment giving them stimulation. And for all of those viewers on those television channels, a reward. for picking their channel on Xfinity. Cable provider. As an example now. These neuroscientists are using a system of psychiatry and psychology with processes involving procedures to further benefit emotion mood and mostly mind however a less racist, restricting and controlling strategy for teaching humans and explaining to humans and helping humans and assisting humans and people and folks with what their brain does, not only inside their body, but in a world where they must always have awareness to not be distracted with their attention, losing their concentration and focus in an important time called coronavirus pandemic. unnoticed, completely ignored, denied by the army, and the United States Navy who said, hell no, hell no, hell no, with only no options no motivation, no inspiration, 
And nobody who doesn't want to live in this world of, have you ever had, or, 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 or have you ever had someone say to you, are two, are two, are two, are two dollars in your pocket for me? I need some food. And not been confused how they could buy energy for consciousness with only two dollars in a city where Jeff Bezos goes to Ken Lee's. And Bill Gates goes to El Gacho for a cigar and a steak. And other trillionaires and billionaires and millionaires order Grubhub instead of some soggy Domino's pizza filled with sodium with their groceries delivered by Amazon and other options from New York City and elsewhere where they fly in the food instead of choosing bravery and courage to shop at a grocery store where anarchists, protesters, activists, and socialists have already started to limit those calories and meats, providing only the best vegetables and GMO free lab grown alternative to a cow. Now, 